What's up guys, it's Simon. So, it's week 6 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge, and it's asking about uh, what are your cultural influences. Um, this is probably going to be a real quick one, so maybe I'll do the side video, I mean, uh, follow-up video uh, right after this one, because I think it's going to be kind of quick. Um, honestly, my cultural influences are from my ancestry, so that's uh, Czechoslovakian slash Bohemian, which is more accurately known today as Czech Republican and Slovakian, since uh, Bohemia is part of the Czech Republic, and they split up in, what, 95, I think it was? 98? I don't know. It was in the 90s, that's what I was told. And, um, yeah, Scottish, so a lot of the, a lot of the Celtic, um, magic and pantheons are used and y you know my matron and patron based on the if you've been watching all my videos you've heard me periodically mention them and I when I was uh when I did my personal sabbat video I uh most of those personal sabbats are in honor of them so and they're from the uh Slovakian pantheon I believe yeah which is the same for the Czech and the Slovakians because uh, they used to be one and the same. Um, trying to think. I, I don't really work with any Native American deities. I know that I have a Native American, I think it's supposed to be a woman uh, depiction for my Black Madonna, but I don't actually, um, work with her in a Native American way. Um, I guess when it comes to deities, I use Celtic and Slovakian. But as regards to my entire practice, not only is it, you know, Celtic and Slovakian, um, but it's also uh, Native American because my first life, I was a Native American. I was a Navajo Indian. I was uh, the chief's daughter. And so I kind of try and incorporate that when I can. I kind of feel like the whole nature practice that I have kind of honors that anyway. So I don't worry too much about it. Um, but that's where why I incorporate the prayer feathers. Um, trying to think what else. I don't know. I, I don't think I really have many cultural influences. I, I know I've had some people say to me, uh, Oh, that's hoodoo work or something like that. I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I haven't actually done research on hoodoo or voodoo. Um, I just do what works. So just because I'm working with dirt, um, I I'm not a hoodoo practitioner. I don't really, really, I don't really know what that is. I mean, I know that it's, from what I understand, it's supposed to be like voodoo without the religion. Th that's really all I know. Um, and I've actually... <clears throat> Excuse me. Watched some videos from Ender, uh, Ender, from Ember Honey Raven, because I know she does some uh, root work. And from what I just understood uh, recently, root work and hoodoo, and I think even voodoo are supposed to be one in the same. Like, or at least hoodoo and root work are. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any other cultural influences other than. Uh, Slovakian and Celtic and Native American. It's primarily um, Celtic and Native American because uh, my ancestry is British, uh, well, English, <clears throat> and Scottish. Uh, one person was born in Dublin. Uh, we have Bohemian, Czech uh, Slovakian, and you know how to further explain that. Um... I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's all my ancestry. Uh, we we kind of think that I might have some Jewish, too, through my great-grandmother on my mom's side. But honestly, since I don't know who... Well, I know the name of my father, but... Because um, we've never met, and I haven't had that interaction of learning, I don't really know that part of my family um for the for many many years i kind of feel like i have um italian in me i don't know if it's just wishful thinking or if it's intuition but for some reason i've for the longest 
time, for, for years, I've always had this slight inclination that I have Italian in my family. Um, I don't know. But that's pretty much it, and that's pretty much all the cultural influences that I have. I can't really think of any more. <laughs> yeah, my... I mean, I'd say alchemy. I kind of have some alchemy every once in a while. It might pop up in my practice, but I don't think that's a cultural influence, so... Yeah, that that's pretty much it. Kind of bummer. But, um, so I'm gonna do the next one. Uh, the follow-up video, which is embracing your past. So, go check it out. I'll try and upload it today, if not tomorrow. Alright. So, as always, thank you for watching, and blessed be my dear witchlings. Oh, and I, I think I've, um, I'm gonna check my videos again, but I think I've put my email and all the ones that I said I would, um, I'm trying to remember, I can't remember right now which was the first one I said, but since the first one till now, I'm pretty sure all of them have my email in it. And like I said, I'm going to check it again to be sure. Um, I I'm trying to be better about um, making sure that I put those links in there for you guys. Alright, so thank you for watching and blessed be.